Hello everybody, welcome to my channel and um, here I am today talking about books finally. I've been wanting to make this video since so long. I've been wanting to discuss all the books I've been reading since January but it's the end of March and I don't know how so here I am and I'm going to be talking about all the books I've read from January until March and I thought I'll just title this video recent reads so that I can talk about everything. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a long one probably just because I have read in total 19 books since January of 2021 and I feel like, I mean it's not a lot of books but it's quite a lot for me. I've never read so many books in three months so um, I'm just gonna dive right into them. There are quite a few nonfiction, a little bit of romance, some like a classic, some fantasy. So let's go into it. Um, I have all the notes of all the books I've read in my notebook just so that I can remember them and some of them I've read on my Kindle or my iPad and some are in audio so I don't have all the physical copies with me but the very first book I read when it was the new year was Zen Pencils. I'll put the cover art for the book here but this book was a graphic novel and um, I forgot the author names. Honestly, I do not remember so many author names. I'm so sorry. Zen Pencils is by Gavin Ong Tan. Okay, I didn't know it was a Gavin, but um, did I say that weird? Gavin. Um, I'm so used to calling Gavin Gav that, um, yeah, besides the point. So this book is um, about different inspirational quotes from different books and it's a lot of work by different authors like Neil Gaiman and everything put up in kind of a graphic novel style and it was fine but it was nothing great to me honestly so I gave it three stars. I don't remember a lot of it to be very honest but it was a fine read. Um, the next book I finished, oh I don't have the book with me. I forgot to grab this book but it is 12 Days of Christmas by Trisha Ashley and this was my reread in December but it kind of went into the first week of January just because I didn't get enough time to read during Christmas but that's why I read this. It was five stars. I love this book so much. I've talked about this book in my um, Christmas book recommendations video as well and it's just a lovely lovely slow cozy Christmas read. I loved it so much. Yeah, five stars for this one and if you want to know about the story in the book and everything you can watch that video because I've gone into a lot of detail talking about this and if I talk about it again it's just gonna be another five minutes in this video. We don't want that. So let's go to the third book that I read. Oh god, the third book I read was actually winter by ali smith and i picked up this book from a book sale that we had like we still have that um where i stay it's a secondhand book sale and i thrifted this book now i went to do this with a lot of high expectations because it has high reviews on goodreads but sadly it was not for me um it's a lot of broken writing there's no quotation there's it's just so confusing and it's just jumping from here to there. The story is so disconnected. I just could not understand what was going on half the time and while I did it was kind of grossing me out. Like at the very beginning of the story there's a floating head. Like a floating head. And I just wasn't understanding what was happening to be honest. And it's not like whimsical. To me it was just like what? <laughs> <laughs> very confusing but that was the third read I gave it two stars yeah two stars the next book I read was can you keep a secret by Sophie Kinsella I'll put the cover art here just because I do not have the physical copy with me but I got this friend got this friend got this book from a friend um Teresa she gave it to me and I read it from her and it was just a really lovely kind of a chick lit a romance book obviously it's Sophie Kinsella and it was my first book by her to be honest and it was amazing it was just the lovely light read I needed and I read this actually on a train journey when I was going to work um, and I finished it in like two days and it was just so so good and it's about this girl and she's working in this I don't exactly remember her profession but I think like it was an ad agency or something for 
an energy drink and uh, there's this guy that she meets on the plane and she tells him all her secrets just because the, she thinks she's going to die on that plane and then that guy ends up being her boss and it's just funny from there I mean you can imagine what's gonna happen but yeah that was really fun um, the next book and oh I give that four stars the next book is the Enemy, which was again a really really lovely read, um, another romance, and I'm just gonna look up the author's name because I forgot, Sarah Adams, I'll put the cover art here for you to see, but you can see the cover art is just so so lovely and cute, it's about this girl who runs a donut shop, if I'm not wrong, and there's this friend of hers, um, it's kind of like a guy she was sort of enemies with, sort of friends with, that she meets again during a wedding of one of her schoolmates. And it's just like a thing between them. And I don't want to give any spoilers, but it's just a really cute romance with, um, I feel like, a few lessons here and there. But it was just lovely to read again. And that was another four stars. Um, yeah, I read both of them back to back and I honestly finished both of them in like a week. And I even have like a vlog where I read them. I think if I do, I'll link it here. But yeah, those were really, really cute reads. The next book, oh my god, this is Ikigai. I'll put the cover art here. I read it on audiobook and I did not like it like I'll be a hundred percent honest I hated it and I gave it one star which is the lowest rating for a book and the reason I hated it is because firstly I felt like the author did not know what he was talking about there were a lot of things he was saying but not in a story form or in a book form it was more like just broken facts that he was putting in and what I really hated in that book was when he said that in order to live longer you need to eat lesser and when he said that I was just so annoyed and I just gave it one star because I hated that book and I was looking so forward to reading that book. I was going to buy a physical copy. I'm so glad I didn't because I didn't like it. Um, yeah, so I've left a review on Goodreads if you want to check it, but yeah, didn't like it. The next book is Get a Life, Chloe Brown. I'll again put a cover art here just because I read this book on my Kindle, but it was such a lovely, cozy read. If you did watch my video where I read Normal People by Sally Rooney, you must have seen me read that book. And now this book did not really start out according to my expectations just because it's such a hyped book and like so many people love it. And when I started it, I was just confused as to why people do like it. But I think at the ending, it kind of made up for it just because it talked about a lot of issues that I just love the way it were addressed in the book. So yeah, that's why I gave the book four stars out of five stars. It would have been five but it was for just because I didn't love love it but I did like it I liked that Chloe was you know a, a human and not her illness and not the way her body was she was the way she was portrayed was just really really well done I feel but yeah that was the seventh book I read the eighth book I read was Normal People by Sally Rooney. Again, another very, very popular book. I've filmed a vlog where I read the book, so if you want to check that out, I will link it here. Um, but yeah, this book, again, I bo borrowed it from my friend, so I do not have the physical copy right now. But again, to me, it wasn't the best, just because firstly, there were no quotation marks in the book, so that really really annoyed me as i was reading the book and secondly i just felt like um there was no progression throughout the story it was like four or five years um apart the entire story and there was no progression with these characters there was no character development it felt like they were kind of romanticizing a lot of toxic behaviors and toxic relationships and to me that's a big no and that is why i again gave it two stars it was all right but to me it just wasn't great i know that a lot of people that i love watching love this book like kiera foster she loves this book but it just didn't work for me the next book i read is actually with me here it's money and the law of attraction and this is by 
Esther and Jerry Hicks. It's about the teachings of Abraham and it's the Law of Attraction, obviously. I have been loving the Law of Attraction books. Now, funnily enough, I actually read this on my Kindle, but I went ahead and bought a copy for myself because I loved it so much. I gave it five stars and I just loved everything in this book and I decided to reread it and I've been annotating it as you can see. So yeah, I'm going through my Kindle notes and then annotating the book and it's just been a fun time but yep, highly recommend if you like the Law of Attraction and you want to read a lot about money and the Law of Attraction, obviously. I loved it. The next book I read is a classic. Now you may know that I've read it if you do follow me on Goodreads. I don't know if I've mentioned it in a vlog but it is Pride and Prejudice and this is the edition that I read but I have so many more editions of Pride and Prejudice but this was... Am I in focus? This was such a lovely read. It was um, like I did not expect to love it as much as I did but it was beautifully written at the very beginning. I find it a little, found it a little difficult. Find it a little. I found it a little difficult to get into the book because of the writing obviously and it took me two weeks to read it which is a long time for me but it was uh, so good. Um, so very first Elizabeth Bennet. I loved the way her character was portrayed, how she was not at all scared to be herself and to say what was on her mind. She did not, um, you know, succumb to what society wanted from her and that was amazing. I love the way Darcy was, the way he was portrayed and let me just pick out my review just because I've written a lot more about it. I tend to forget what I read about books or what I feel about books so I love leaving reviews on Goodreads but yeah when I read this book I, um, I finished it on Valentine's Day very first but so I've written that I love the fact that Mr. Darcy acted so amiably. Is this a spoiler? I'll just put like a spoiler um, card here in case you don't want to hear this. But I love the fact that, you know, he was so, um, I would say, graceful even in the face of rejection. And I just couldn't believe that it was written in the 18th century and the way... It just went between Elizabeth and Darcy. I don't know how to explain it, but it was different. It was not anything about lust or stuff like that, but it just felt so pure to me. Now, I don't know, maybe it's just me and not everyone may feel like this, but I loved it. I'm so glad this was my first Jane Austen read because I cannot wait to pick up other books by her and read them as well and I'm so glad I have the stunning edition as well as the other editions because I'm gonna reread them so many times but yeah that was my 10th read yeah 10th read the 11th read it was actually a listen on audible so it was awkward conversations about money and this is kind of like in a podcast format but audible has it um on their on their app for free if you're a member and it is an audible original so it was a lot of different podcasts talking about different awkward topics related to money like you know death and money or breakup and money or housing and money and just how people avoid talking about certain topics and how they're considered taboo when they should actually be talked about it was a good podcast quite um informative i give it three stars though because again it was based in the uk so i couldn't really relate to a lot of things in it but it was good honestly i did like it so yeah i gave it three stars the next book is my year of rest and relaxation again i think i mentioned this in a vlog but this is about this girl and funnily enough she is never named it kind of reminds me of rebecca but the character is never named and she decides to go to sleep for a year <laughs> that was kind of funny but she decides to take a lot of pills and stuff and sleep for a year and it's about just she trying to escape all of her problems in a way and, and the funny thing is this girl is quite rich she lives um somewhere rich she lives in an apartment on the upper east side of manhattan and she's like the rent is paid by her parents i guess like estate or inheritance that she's got from her parents her parents have been 
killed and you find out how they not killed they die and you find out how they die and it's just kind of a depressing read i feel because um it was very very lethargic like if you're feeling sad do not read this book but it was it was good but it just did not feel realistic to me just because at the very end she like comes off her pills so quickly and there are no side effects even throughout the book it just feels like she's doing these crazy things but uh, i mean there has to be a dangerous side to it and even though it kind of is it never feels like a very real thing to happen to anybody and the ending was a little weird to me to be very honest as well so i gave this three stars it was okay nothing great the next book is A Court of Thorns and Roses. Now, I filmed another vlog reading this book and I love this book so much. I gave it five stars, obviously, and it's by Sarah G. Maas, so I knew I would love this, but... And the craziest thing, there's a TV adaptation coming for the series, so I'm so excited. It's going to be by Disney, but I'm so glad I started this book when I did. I started it back in March, and I finished it in March, and... Oh, no, wait. I started it in February, and I finished it in February, and... Okay, I'm just gonna go into a little bit of what this book is about. There's this girl, Farah. She's a huntress, and she kills an animal that she's not supposed to kill, and that's why she's taken into another territory where she has to kind of be not a slave, but she cannot go home. And that's all I want to tell you because you need to go into it without knowing anything. That's what I did. And honestly, everything you feel in this book will be changed when you read the next book. I'm telling you, I felt a lot, but then I was just like, what was I thinking? So that's just a little disclaimer. But the second book that I read, obviously, after I finished A Court of Thorns and Roses is A Court of Mist and Fury and... I love this so 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 much again another five stars I read this in March and I finished it in March um, and this is just the continuation of the series so I cannot tell you much about it because it will just be spoilers but love it and I must say the very first part of the book is just so cathartic take it from me <laughs> the next book is Okay, so this is the 15th book that I read on audio. I'll again put the cover art here. Now, this was also a reread. It's The Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. And I had previously rated this four stars, but this time I rated it three stars just because when I was listening to it, I just felt like a lot of it was kind of... Um, patronizing like he was just like oh I did this and I did that and it, that, that was just a little annoying to me even though the book was helpful I would say I don't know how I would feel if I were to read it physically again but I think on the audio it just was like he was just saying it to me in my ears and I just got a little annoyed but yeah it was a good read nonetheless I gave it three stars and that's not bad in my books but yeah that was the 15th read. The next read is The Year of Less and this is again another book I read on my Kindle. Now if you follow me on Goodreads you may know I started this back in July because it's a month-wise book but I decided to just finish it up in March because I was getting a little annoyed having to pick it up every month and I just thought I'll just finish it off and I did and the reason I did not like this book did I say I did not like it? I didn't like it as much and the reason for it is because it was supposed to be a year of less where she talked about her consumerism, I felt. Which, I mean, I personally am not at all a minimalist, so I don't consider myself an expert. But I was looking for sort of a perspective. And she was talking about a lot of things that were not at all related to her year of less. She was talking about alcoholism, her parents' divorce. And, you know, she was still traveling and spending a lot there. So it just, to me, felt like she was just using the book as a release of her emotional baggage which it's all fine and dandy but you need to name the book properly she did not name it appropriately it is a memoir and not a the year of less project at all to me so yeah did not really like it all that much i feel like there must be only five percent of the year of less and 95 percent of it was her problems um, the next book I read was The Joy of Doing Just Enough. Again, this book I actually picked up and finished yesterday. 
was it yesterday I think it was yesterday yeah so it was on my Kindle and I read it in a day it was a really small read about it felt kind of like a satirical satirical is that a proper use of the word yeah satirical I actually looked up that word because I haven't used it all that much but um, it felt like a satirical take on um, everything related to productivity and how we always are doing so much and this book talked about doing less it's about doing less of everything not trying so hard to look so good all the time or to keep up with you know society and societal standards and it was just a funny read honestly it was only a hundred pages so I read it really quickly and it's a lovely humorous read if you're in the mood for it the next book that oh and I gave this three stars the next book I read was the little world of Les Climo I'll put the art here now this was again another graphic novel I picked it up I think in January or February and I decided to finish it up just because I was in the mood to read something short and it's just a lovely collection of graphics illustrations I forgot by who I'm sorry the author is Liz Climo as well how is that possible wow I didn't know that crazy but it's a lot of cute illustrations of these animals and just you know funny little um, not really stories but just different animals and puns yeah it was just funny cartoons that's that's all I know to explain oh gosh I'm so bad with explaining why am I doing this <laughs> but the last book that I read was on audio on my phone again and I'll put the cover art here it's an anonymous girl by two authors one was Sarah it was Greer Hendrix and Sarah Pekinen yeah Two authors and again it was a thriller it was supposed to be a thriller but to me in the story I just I didn't find anything thrilling I took ages to read this I started in January and I took two months to finish this book and it was not thrilling to me it's about this girl who decides to go participate in the study where she's supposed to answer questions about morality and the study starts getting creepier and creepier as time progresses but I just feel like later on they tell us um, a lot about the person who was also conducting the study and there's just no element of suspense or surprise in there I just knew everything that was coming I was not at all surprised and maybe that's just because I've read a lot of thrillers but I don't know what it was like no one can beat Agatha Christie for me when it comes to mystery and yeah if you want to read one book that's just amazing I would highly recommend and then there were none because that is the best mystery or thrilling book I've read even though it's a classic I love it but yeah this book was okay I gave it two stars and I just feel like these two authors do not work for me because I even read The Wife Between Us I think that was what they wrote and even that was just like what I mean I don't know I don't get it but yeah that was the 19th book and that are, those are all the books that I read since January um, felt like a really long video I feel this is gonna be like 30 minutes long I need to cut down on it as much as I can but I hope you enjoyed this video and me blabbering about all the books I've read hope you're having a lovely reading month reading year whatever it is and even though you're not even if you're not reading as much as you want to just remember that it's not a race you can read as much or as little and just enjoy your time while you're reading um yeah stay safe and i'll see you in a new video bye